Hi everybody, Samantha Shriver, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator coming to you today with a new card tutorial. Today we're going to make this uh, beautiful card using the Whimsical Trees Bundle. I am in love with the sparkly background paper and the non-traditional Christmas colors. I'm very excited to show you guys this tutorial. I also wanted to mention that through the end of November, the starter kit um, is on sale. It's only $75 plus tax, free shipping. You choose up to $125 a product of your choice. Even if you don't want to sell and you just want to be a hobby demo, it's a great time to buy. Even if you just purchase the starter kit and then um, decide later that you're not going to place any orders, you'll just drop off as a demo and go back to being a customer. It's a great deal. I also wanted to ask if you can please like and subscribe to this video. Um, you'll be alerted to when my weekly tutorial videos come out. That would be wonderful. I hope you guys have an absolutely wonderful weekend. Have a very happy Thanksgiving and I'll talk to you soon. Today's card we're going to make is from the um, Whimsical Trees Bundle. We're going to take our card base, which is an 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock which is cut in half and then folded in half. And I just use my bone folder to crease it. The background paper we're gonna use is the Whimsy and Wonder 12 by 12 designer series paper. We're gonna use these trees. I absolutely love this paper and how one side of it has the gold foil. And I just wanna show you guys this, um, the snowflake one. That is just gorgeous, I love it. So we're going to take this, we're going to cut our cardstock. We are going to cut it to five and a quarter by four. Then we're going to take our um, glittered organdy ribbon. I don't know if you guys can see this. It is gorgeous. I love this ribbon. And we're just going to cut a piece of this, which we'll put in the middle of our cardstock. I'm just going to lay that there and then flip it over and adhere that ribbon. want to see if it's lined up. Okay, and now we can adhere this to our card base. And then next we are going to take our sentiment. So this set, the um, Whimsical Trees Bundle, we're gonna use this sentiment. This is a ru red rubber stamp set. I love this stamp set. I actually waited a little bit to buy this bundle and I wish I had bought it sooner because I find myself using it all the time now. It comes with these tree dies. So these, dies cut out the ornaments and then this and then it comes with some stars and some ornaments and this little tree this is the garland for that and then this oops I just dropped a die and this larger tree if you cut that out in cardstock then you can cut this out for the garland on that tree So I really love this set and it does, it comes with a lot of dyes. So our sentiment, I used the scallop contour dyes. I use this set a lot as you can see as well. This is the third largest scalloped, uh, scalloped rectangle in the set. So we're gonna use that one. And then we're gonna grab our polished pink ink. I mounted this last night and it was perfectly straight, so I just wanted to keep it on there for today. 
So there's our sentiment. Now when we adhere the sentiment, I off-centered it a little bit to allow space for this larger tree. So we're just gonna put this off to the side a little bit. And then next we can stamp our trees. Let's grab our stamp set. Do this cute little tree first. And this will be in the mint macaron. Then we are gonna do this other tree in mint macaron as well. Then the largest tree is going to be in um, blushing bride. And then to save us some time, I went ahead and I die cut these last night. So we have our Blushing Bride, that one in Mint Macaron, and then our little one in Mint Macaron. So we can start adhering these. Oh, and I also cut out these cute little trees in the Polished Pink and Blushing Bride as well. So first I want to do the mint macaron tree and I left my silicone craft mat put away. I was crafting at a friend's house yesterday so I'm just going to have to be careful and then clean off my desk after this. I didn't completely unpack everything yet. I just want to focus on those edges here. And then this pink tree is going to, I'm not going to fully push that down because it's going to go behind the larger mint macaron tree. I'm going to sneak that in back. Maybe put it over a tiny bit more for that ribbon and then press these down. So another tip that I do sometimes when I am gluing something after the card is done, I take our biggest block and I just lay it on there and I let it sit for like 10 minutes so that it holds all of the stuff down and keeps it firmly glued. We're gonna take our little mint macaron tree and we'll glue that one. These trees are so cute. And then next we'll do our Blushing Bride one. This one I popped up with our dimensionals. Let me find them here quick. So we have our regular dimensionals. I use two. And then I used one of our minis for the top. Let's grab my take a pick tool and pop these off. And then we 
can layer this tree. And let's grab our other ones and glue these down quick. I do like the glue pen for this very fine, you know, tree. I feel like it makes it easier to, to glue down. You can definitely use the Tombow Mono for these trees. Oops. Come back, little tree I dropped you. Okay, so we'll stick this one there. Then our last step is I'm gonna add some Wink of Stella. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this onto the larger tree. And then I'll just put it on this little one. I just like adding some sparkle. And I love the Wink of Stella. I got my friend hooked on this as well because you're not getting that glitter everywhere. That loose glitter I don't like using. But this is wonderful. So I'm just going to put it just on the little ink lines just to add a little bit of sparkle. I wish you guys could see more on the video. I know it's really hard to see that Wink of Stella on the video, but it's absolutely gorgeous. If you guys um, don't mind subscribing and liking to my channel, I will give this card away um, to one of you. So I'll maybe like the end of the week, I'll take all of my comments. If you leave me a comment and you have subscribed and liked to my channel, and then I will mail this card out to one of you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time showing it to you and I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye.